Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. It's time for a two for Tuesday and we're going to get straight into it. Are you a Team Buck 110 or a Team Buck 112? Today we're going to dive into these iconic buck knives and help you decide which is the best fit for you. Now, the uh, 110 and 12 knives, both of these models are true classics from Buck and they're known for their uh, quality and durability. So from the Buck's website, we'll introduce the 110. The 110 Folding Hunter, Buck's Folding Hunter, was created in 1963 when Al Buck decided that a revolutionary locking blade knife was needed by outdoorsmen who wanted a sturdy knife but did not want to carry a long fixed blade knife. He was right, and the result proved to be the key to the company's future. The challenge was to provide uh, the strengths of other folding knives with locking mechanisms into a good-looking, reliable product. It wasn't easy, but after a series of refinements, the 110 was unveiled. Within six months, this innovation was the hottest knife in the industry. Concerning the Buck 112, well, it all began with the 110 Folding Hunter. The 110 could be found on many sailors' belts in the Navy. A couple of sailors got into a fight one day, and the 110 folding knife was used. As a result, the captain issued a decree that knives carried could not have a blade length of a specific size. The 110 ended up being too long, so Buck Knives took the initiative and created the Ranger, a smaller version of the 110 knife. The 112 is another traditional favorite. Let's take a look at some of the similarities and some of the differences between these two knives. Now, just to clarify, what I am going to be describing and going over are the specifications for the standard production model Buck 110 and 112 on the uh, Buck website. You can go check that out. They have a custom shop. They can be customized. Lots of different options, different blades, different blade steels. There are also many new innovative models, uh, the light models and such, with uh, and other ones with uh, different cover material or inlay material. So there's a whole wide variety of those. But today we're just going to be looking at these two iconic originals. Uh, one caveat, this one is a 50th anniversary knife. So this is a standard production model except for it's got that shield in there. 50 years and this is a standard production model with the exception it does have 120 printed on the blade so what are the similarities well they both have the same blade ship blade shape excuse me uh, they're both clip point blades the steel is a standard 420 HC uh, with a great heat treatment the blade thickness is the same you can see there, which is 0 0.120 inches. Um, let me see uh, the handle. Now on the classic, on the uh, original, it's going to be a ebony inlay here on both of these. They have used different woods and different uh, inlay material over the years, but the standard is ebony. Uh, they started out with micarta on some I think on the 112 but it's now ebony now uh, for several years they could not use ebony because they didn't have a source for it because ebony is the ebony tree is uh, well I don't know if it's endangered or what have you but they just couldn't get it but they did strike a deal with uh, Taylor guitars to use their scrap pieces of ebony so they went back to using ebony on their standard production models so again, the standard wood inlay is ebony and brass bolsters. They both have a sheath system, uh, a belt sheath. And as a testament to the durability, this one is from the 1970s. And this is an old Buck 112 here. But you can see this knife was well used, well carried. The sheath is held up. And here's an old, older model, 112, without the nail neck. Also, uh, so they come in the standard black leather. Or now, I think you can get them a uh, special order with the distressed brown leather. 
So it is a belt sheath carry system. Um, of course, they're both made in the USA. And uh, they both feature Buck's Forever Warranty. And Buck has one of the best warranty systems out there uh, in the market today. So those are most of the similarities. Let's look at the differences. Obviously, they're different size. So the blade length on the 110 is 3 and 3 quarter inches. And as we, as we said earlier on the 112, it's 3 inches. Quite a bit of difference in weight. This is 7.2 ounces. And the 112 is 5.6 ounces. So as you can see, one of the biggest factors that you're going to have to consider on which one you like is the weight and the size. So in choosing one of these models, you're going to have to take factors uh, into consideration. You know, what jobs are you going to be using for it? What's better uh, suited for your hand? Now both of these give a good four-finger grip. As you can see there, plenty of room. If you have ultra big hands, why the 110 might be the best for you. If you have smaller hands, maybe the 112. But it is comfortable. I wear a large to extra large size glove. And so, you know, even the 112 gives you plenty of real estate there to hold on to it. As I've discussed in other videos, I am one, I tend to like a shorter blade and, uh, for me, the 112 fits my needs. It's not so much about how much it weighs because they're both uh, pouch carry on your belt. So the couple of ounces difference is, does not matter. It's whether or not you want to carry a, a knife on your, on your belt or not. So for me, it's easier to control this smaller blade. However, as I said, if you have larger hands and you have uh, other types of cutting tasks where an extra blade length helps why well, you'd want to consider the 110. Now cons considering the weight on both of these yes they're heavier but I'll tell you what when you hold them in your hand it gives you just such a good grip and to me it just gives me confidence the the heavy weight to it it really feels like you're holding a knife in your hands. So it really is up to you to decide which would be best for you based on uh, your hand size, um, what your tasks are going to be. Um, I will say one advantage to the Buck 420HC, um, it does carry a, a, or gets a good edge onto it and the 420HC is easier to sharpen and you can maintain an edge really good. We'll take a look at these blades. You can see they're swedged on both sides. And you have the, the crescent nail nick in both of these. So, what do you prioritize? Portability, functionality, or aesthetics? You need to take all of those into consideration when making your selection. So, if you would do me a favor... Would you please share your thoughts and comments in the comment section below? Which do you prefer? Do you want the 112 or the 110? And hey, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more of this great content. And until next time, have a very delightful day.